I call series. Fill in the blanks with the verbs in simple past tense are given in the box. So we have uh, learned that a simple past tense can be used for expressing yeah, past activities, right? Okay, so how? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six sentences are there. For every sentence, there is a black also. This is from the textbook, the poem, the king and the dragon. Yes, here we have a box in which we have one, two, three, four, five, six options. So, opting from this, we need to identify the correct ones to fill these blanks, right? Okay. The queen dashed the king to attack the dragon. Lead went where was told, right? The king told the king to attack the queen, told the king to attack the dragon. So, drag it and drop it over here. Yes, the king told the king to attack the dragon. The king dash a powerful ruler. The king was a powerful ruler. The king was a powerful ruler. He dash his soldiers to drag to the dragon mountain. He went, he led. He led, he lead, led, led, right? He led his soldiers to the dragon mountain. Sunithi so dashed to market yesterday to buy books for her son. Went to market. Sunithi so went to market yesterday to buy books for her son. The students dashed happy after the magic show. The students were happy after the magic show. My grandfather dashed an interesting story to, my, to me last evening. My grandfather narrated an interesting story. My grandfather narrated an interesting story to me last year. So the sentences are, the queen told the king to attack the dragon. The king was a powerful ruler. He led his soldiers to the dragon mountain. So Nidhi went to the market yesterday to buy books for her son. Uh, the students were happy after the magic show. The grandfather narrated an interesting story to me. Uh, the last evening, right? So now I will keep the screen the same for another minute so that we can read these sentences once again. Okay, now past continuous tense. So the name itself explains the thing that yeah, we use a past continuous tense when we want to say something that is happening, continuing at a point of time in the past. Okay, if we want to say something that was continuing at a point of time in the past, then we use a past continuous tense. Okay. See, uh, the king climbed the hill when the dragon was sleeping. So here, the verb is, yes, was sleeping. Huh? Or, yeah, climbed also is a verb. Okay, so this is an activity that, for example, at 8 o'clock, the dragon started to sleep. It's a continuing at 10 o'clock. Okay, 
It is here at 8.45 or 9 o'clock the king had climbed. So at this point of time, at this point of time, yes, this activity was a continuing. Is it? Huh? Yes. So to express an activity that was continuing at a point of time in the past. So when did it start? When did it end? Forget it. At this particular time, when the king was climbing up the mountain, what is happening there? The dragon was sleeping, is it? Yes. Okay. So that is past continuous tense. And uh, the structure of a past continuous tense is uh, the structure of a past continuous tense is uh, yes, was or uh, where plus ing form of the verb. Was or where plus ing form of the verb. If it is a singular subject, you say the dragon. Huh? The dragon, single dragon, no? It's a singular subject. That is why we used the was here. Okay. The soldiers were yes, following the king. The soldiers were following the king. Now, see, soldiers, how many are there? Is it just one person or more than one person? Definitely more than one person are there, isn't it? Yes, that is why we used where here. Okay, so where is used when the subject is a plural and was is used when the subject is a singular. Okay. So was or where plus ing form of the verb is a structure of a past continuous tense. A past continuous tense is used to express an action that was continuing at a point of time in the past. Right? Now, uh, we have got an activity related to this. We will do that and then we will go on to the past perfect tense. Okay? So children, we have learned about the past continuous tense and then now we have got an exercise. So now we have got an exercise to do. So use the rules given in the brackets in the past continuous form to complete the following passage. So we have a passage here and we have got one, two, three, four blanks in that. Okay, there are four blanks in that and we need to fill these blanks with the, we need to fill these blanks with the yeah, the past continuous form of the verb given in the brackets. So they are here. We need to, yes, put them one by one. Okay. So the first one, say, Gunit came to my house last evening. We were all busy doing something or the other. I dash listen to music. Listen. What is the past continuous tense of listen? Was listening, isn't it? Yes. So I was listening to music. I was listening to music. Mother dash bake a cake. So bake is in the bracket and we need to write the past continuous tense of a bake. What is that? Was baking because mother is a singular, isn't it? Mother was baking, right? Now father dash watch television. Father dash watch. So watch is the verb that is in a bracket and we need to write the past continuous tense of a that. And what is the past continuous tense of watch? Was watching. Why was watching? Because only father was there. Father is a singular one, isn't it? And that is why we have used it. Was watching. And my brother, he was also there. He played video games. So play is the verb which is given in the bracket and we need to use its a past continuous tense form and what is that? Was playing. Yes. We were all happy to have him in our home. So Gunith is a person who came to our house last day and when they came, uh, we were all engaged in different kinds of verbs. So all these things were happening at the time when Gunit came to the house. 
I was listening. Uh, father was watching TV. Mother was cooking. Uh, brother was playing. Okay. So all these four activities were in the continuation yesterday when Gunit came to my house. Right? So Gunit came to my house last evening. We were all busy doing something or the other. I was listening to music. Mother was baking a cake. Father was watching television. And my brother was playing video games. We were all happy to have him in our house. Right? Okay. Now, I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can have a look at these sentences once again and practice it again. Okay?